This is a special, special uh, AKL show in Great Tabrani, not a given going at Pathwilson, Australia, Tonya, win and that's a poet, not a journalist, and a journalist, not a PhD in a United Kingdom of India. So I'm going to go on it to the name of the set time, go now in game meta of India, name of the set time, in game meta of India, go more with Kole, tossing a ledger, tossing a ledger, the set time, you get a good to you get a mutanda, who toss a man, I got toss on every up Kenya, I thought that you meet all in India. Was again your in that, so go my way to the net, not a net as a tie, like in a yat of yat of yat of a summer to all, Shan, but I have shown over with Tabrani, so again with KTV, Jotok, Ejabo, Hajabo, Kenya, he would go to the meeting of big daughter getting a big quarter meeting, much in which there is. ko <laughs> Father Lord, we come unto you this morning. We thank you for this great morning that you've given unto us. We bless your name and we glorify your name for the opportunity that you've given us life. We also give you glory, O oh Lord, for the parents, our brothers, sisters, and every friend that we've managed to uh, to have. We pray even for the sick, wherever they are, guide them and give them a uh, meditation, O oh Father, so that they may be able to uh, to heal and, and they will rejoice in your name. Pray even, Lord, 
uh, during these hard times in the world that you may guide us to and we'll come to rejoice and be happy after that. Well, we pray this prayer, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Basta, osi kasa ngu tukulo la mitai paraboit. Ya, akasin kumye. Kongo missing, Kongo missing. So, as I'm not getting all in show on about it, we're not going to get by Shane Garessa, Kiswaili, and movie thing about a big job of case of age and we took a little meeting. I got much gay tea jacket. Like in the more I wait to let us boy it in Nani, Yamazalu, Wapi, Naya, Yuko Wapi, Sasaibi. Yeah, my names are Joshua Boyd, Nimezalu Akitale, Nimeleo Akitale Transoya, Upando Acherangani Hills, and the Casomeo called Kitale, like in the Kapuja and the Casoma, India. Kafanya journalism mm -hmm. and mass communication. Nilikuja mwaka wa elfu mbili na nane, 2008. That's when I came to India for my bachelor's degree. Nikafanya master's. Na saizi nafanya PhD. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asante sana. Kwanza, ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii. Kwa niyaba yangu, familia yetu, pamoja na AKL. Kusema pole sana, tumeona juzi mepoteza mama mzazi tunakuambia pole tunakupa pole zetu na tunakutakia kila laheri tunaendelea kukuombea tunaombea pia na roho yake iweze kulazwa um, aweze kulazwa katika mahali pema sababu kwamba dunia hii si wote ni masafiri tutazidi kukuombea na pamoja na familia yako na Mungu mwenyezi ataweza kukupa nguvu na kuwapa nguvu na siku moja tunajua kwamba tutaweza kufurahi pamoja naye mzazi siku zetu pia zikifika so tuambie tu kwamba maisha ikoje kule india maisha hapa india imebadilika kabisa tumekuwa tukipata messages kutoka nyumbani direct messages from home ya kwamba mambo yanaendeleaje najua televisheni inaonesha ya kwamba kuna mambo mengi yanaendelea ya kwamba the cases of coronavirus in india has increased many people are dying watu wanakufa kila mahali ndio mm -hmm. inafanyika lakini kuna kitu inaitwa yellow journalism ambayo ilikuwa 18th century uko the, the late 18th century kuna mambo ya exaggeration inafanyika na exaggeration inafanyika kwa upande wa mtandao wa social media so the social media is uh, propagating i can say propaganda watu wengi huwa wana share videos wana share messages ambayo hawajajua imetoka wapi na hawajui kama ni ukweli ama sio ukweli sasa hiyo ndio shida Nice, easy. Na hapa mahali niko inaitwa state of Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. Imekuwa na cases around 4, 4 million, 4.2 million from the last one year. The only state mm -hmm. 4.2 million. Na mm -hmm. 3, 3, 3 million wamekuwa discharge, alafu kuna wamekuwa ni around 63,000 in this state. Lakini mm -hmm. the whole of it, uh, cases ya coronavirus imefika 17 million and 14 million mm -hmm. have been discharged and 192,000 ambao wamekufa. Uh -huh. Lakini kuanzia mwezi wa April, April 14th, hapo ndiyo sasa mm -hmm. cases ilianza kupanda kwa sababu uh, the beginning of April cases ilikuwa around 70,000. But mm -hmm. by 15th April tulikuwa na kesi kuanzia 1200,000, 200,000 per day cases. Mm -hmm. Na imepanda na for the last five days, around five days, cases imepita uh, 300,000 mark per day. Per day. Na uh, death ni around 2700 per day death. So mm -hmm. hata jana kulikuwa na 349,000 cases mm -hmm. per day. Na imezidi sana na upande wa New Delhi na Ma Mumbai ndio imekuwa na cases mingi na mahali niko ni karibu Mumbai sio mbali na Mumbai. And mm -hmm. uh, wale wako Kenya hawajua kwamba India is five times bigger than Kenya. Mm -hmm. Na wakati tuna share information ambayo imetoka India ya vitu nyemefanyika at mm -hmm. times try to learn and ask in the group hiyo information imetoka wapi? na hiyo video ni ukweli ama sio ukweli kwa wale watu wanajua na kama ujui ya kwamba ni lugha fulani don't share mm -hmm. something that you don't know because in a send panic kwa watu wengi sana tumekuwa tukipigiwa simu mhm mm toka nyumbani we've been called and been asked that uh, people are dying there are no places for cremation yeah, like uh, there, there, there are no spaces no oxygen and everything yes kuna upunguvu wa oxygen lakini si mm -hmm. kuna oxygen hiyo imekuwa na unajua watu wengine wale no oxygen wameweka manyumbani na ma countries zingine mm -hmm. zimoka kuleta oxygen na oxygen concentrator si kuja India. Ngoja mm -hmm. steel companies unajua the largest steel companies in the world ni wa Indi. Na kwa hivyo steel companies wamaacha kutumia ile factory oxygen wameamua kuipeana kwa hospitali yenye tajika huko the capital city of India New Delhi. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Tunaona hata Marekani wamekuwa na wanakuja na usaidizi pia. Tunaona wanakuja na tanks ile ya malori na kila kitu. Ukitukiwa tu hapo kwa videos ambayo yameshewa uh, shared or anything ama yameweza kupitishwa. Kuna hii moja ambaye yeah. imetembea sana watu wanaanguka, watu wana unaona mtu anakimbia kwa street, kuna wengine wanashuka kwa gari. Huo ni nini haswa kabisa? Huo ni nini ilikuwa inafanyika? Hiyo video that video is 11 months old I go pick up car that video people are sharing on WhatsApp groups and WhatsApp has been a platform where people have been sharing these videos that mm-hmm. video that shows that there are people falling in the street and uh, there's a woman who's trying to revive I mean there's a girl who's having a small baby trying to revive a woman lying in the street then one girl falls down in the street then on Angalia police they are pushing somebody inside a vehicle that mm-hmm. video was a gas leakage a polymer plant in a place called Vishakapatnam in India and it was 11 mm-hmm. months ago and now you know in the groups when somebody uh, post that video for whatsapp status wengine mna settings ambayo ina download kila kitu so at the end of the day ukiamka asubuhi unapata iko kwa inbox ya ime download so you don't know the source you cannot trace it so that is the mm-hmm. main problem and then you share what you don't know you know mm-hmm. sometimes i tell people that you see lazim kwa some journalism but when you get such a video try to see the language In fact the language mm-hmm. that is there on that video the caption is not any indian language actually it's uh, either either korean or something mm-hmm. and then sa zingine kuna there's a better way of viewing the videos at the video in kanangalia uganda you just try to freeze the video take a screenshot three four or five screenshots of any video wakati imefikia mahali kuna number plate ya gari mahali kuna jina ya sign post ama street sign okay you take many screenshots That is the mm-hmm. simplest way of identifying a video. When you take a screenshot, take those screenshots, if you're clear, uh, crop them and then upload them. Open your Google uh, browser or Google you know, Google Lens, L E N S. Mm-hmm. You open your mm-hmm. Google Lens and you upload that image and you look take a screenshot of your video. When you upload it, then Google Lens will search for you possible places where your video, the origin of the video. You need the simplest uh, the way of to to try to get where the video is coming from but if you cannot see the number of the vehicle if you uh-huh. cannot see the sign post of the street try to mm-hmm. see kama kuna 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 website inaitwa Yandex ya Russia ya kwamba mm-hmm. unaangalia hii video imetoka wapi ama unauliza tu watu kuliko kushare mm-hmm. kwa sababu sending panic so that video mm-hmm. is about an, an a leakage kwa polymer plant and uh, watu karibu wanane walikufa na nimejaribu mm-hmm. To me, to peer Kenya, because that video is so viral in Africa more than in India. In India, it it is, the it news is. organizations, news organizations, you people usually have that. There is a fact-checking news organizations. Like every news organization now, we're going to fact-checking. And whenever mm-hmm. you see any video, you try to just do basic Google search mm-hmm. about a viral video in India. People falling down. You can just there are some keywords you can type them. No, they put up for YouTube. Mm-hmm. So hiyo video imestua watu sana tumepigiwa simu kila mtu anasema hebu tokeni huko hivyo mtakufa kama watu wanaanguka kwa street no it's not yeah. covid na kuna watu wanaanguka kwa street hiyo yeah well thanks for clarifying that and uh, giving us a, a, a quite an insightful way also of checking um with the videos and also the content before even sharing that's quite helpful as well for people like us freelancers um yeah. In, in terms of covid as well we come back to covid are there kenyans who are affected or how is the situation with the kenyan community currently the kenyan community we have uh, various whatsapp groups of kenyan students because our whatsapp in a limit of 257 so group yeah. ikija inabidi tuunde groups zingine so kuna wale wa kenya wamekuja kutembea wachache sana it's very less there you know in india tourists when wanakuja kutembea ni wachache alafu kuna wasichana wetu ambao wamechukuliwa nyumbani wamekuja kuuzwa upande huu ambao ni kitu iongelewe na mtu yote wako wengi sana yeah. kuliko hata wanafunzi wasichana wote ama kuuzwa yes. ama kuuzwa kuuzwa expelled in prostitution aya yeah. yeah. that's yeah. Well, uh, kuna ambao wamekuja wako huko hivi and then kuna wanafunzi alafu kuna wale wanakuja biashara kununua vitu yeah. alafu kuna wale wanafunzi wamekuja pia huko na kuna wale wameandikwa na maybe united nations organization katika mayo lakini yeah. kwa upande Unajua kuna watu wanasemanga huko majuu kuna kazi huko tunataka tukuje kazi naweza taka kuambia wasichana wetu hakuna kazi huko in asia unless australia 
basi kuna kazi lakini in Asia kuanzia kwa nchi ya Arabu kukuja India, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, eh, Yemen, huku kote Singapore, Thailand, Laos hakuna kazi. Hakuna kazi. Mseme tuko maji. Sisi wenye tuko huko tunavyotumeka huko nimekaa huko kwa muda mrefu. So hakuna kazi. So kuna wanafunzi mimi ni mkubwa wanafunzi kwa upande wa state yangu lakini ni represent wa Kenya pia kwa wakati president alikuja 2017. So mm-hmm. nikakuwa watu waka, wengine wakaniambia wewe wewe ni, we ni mkubwa wetu hapa India lakini mimi sijajiita hivyo mimi ni mm-hmm. student leader kwa my state but i'm coordinating mm-hmm. your whatsapp group i'm coordinating wale wanafunzi ambao wako hapa India sasa hizi na communication like the central mm-hmm. communication command i'm doing it and mm-hmm. luckily some student wale decide kuniambia kwa sababu unajua ni ngumu kuambia wenye hajaambiana nyumbani ya kwamba wako na corona three students wako na corona mstana mmoja ndio bado wako na shida na breathing hawezi ongea kwa muda mrefu na yeye yeah, ameambiana nyumbani lakini kuna wale wengine wajaambiana nyumbani kwa sababu wataka kusend panic nyumbani so mm-hmm. ni wanafunzi watatu so far ambao wameniambia mimi personally uh, ndio na wako na covid so what happens in terms of the healthcare who who got us for the treatment or any kind of yeah the treatment and the healthcare for this student or the Do you, yeah. do you have health it, covers? it is actually no we don't have health covers for those who have health covers walo alikuja na scholarship inaitwa ICCR Indian uh, Council for Cultural Research and you on mm-hmm. health covers you on insurance sisi wengine tumekuja tumekuja tu kivyetu so mm-hmm. kuna hivi kama huyo uh, uh, wale wa ambao wa, wamekuwa na covid hawa sana wawili na kijana mmoja walipo walipochukuliwa quarantine mmoja kijana mmoja alipochukuliwa quarantine akakuwa ya kwamba amesaidiwa na serikali ya India ambao sio sio expensive sana sio kama Kenya kwa sababu mama yangu alipokuwa hospitali for 17 days oxygen ilikuwa 245000 Kenyan shillings for my mother of which i was wondering how 17 days was that so mm-hmm. for these students i'm in touch with them the neighbors are helping them kwa sababu wanaishi unajua india is so huge sometimes you are in a city where you are alone mm-hmm. wanaangalia in a city of 6 million or 4 million you are alone you are the only kenyan mm-hmm. uh, na pia walienda hospitali matibabu sio pesa mingi sana na haiwezi pita elfu kama moja lakini kwa upande wa oxygen huyu msichana hakuhitaji oxygen sana alienda kidogo alafu saizi oxygen yake iko mzuri lakini i keep monitoring lakini namwambia kama anezambiana nyumbani ni sawa ambie mtu mwenye hawezi send panic kwa sababu unajua panic ikienda nyumbani kutakuwa na shida lakini i'm in touch 24/7 i'm in touch with them uh, in terms of now take us through uh, how many in general do you think that the students who are in india uh, for, from kenya because quite often tunaskianga tu naita bunjap ama banjap alafu kutomaliza shule but exactly yeah. banjap how many students uh, roughly are there who are studying in india and to to ibia tu naweza tuambia kwa kiswahili kwamba muhimu ya kusoma huko na kukaa nyumbani ni gani alafu opportunities ya kazi kama mtu atakuja kusoma huko unaweza fanya kazi kwa mwanafunzi ama za zingine hizi vitu ni kubatisha ya yeah, kwa wale ambao wanataka kuja kusoma India India ni destination ambao eh, iko na iko na mambo mingi kwa sababu watu wengi wamelalamika au oh, kuna watu walikuja wakasoma university ya Punjab ama Punjab watu nyumbani wanaita Punjab lakini Punjab <laughs> kupe kwa nayo shida hiyo university ni old university ni very old university imekuwa kwa na na iko na, na, na kuna serikali ambayo ina authorize na, na ni state university so ni genuine mm-hmm. university na kukuja mm-hmm. india watu wengi wanafikiri ukienda ngambo unaenda unapata kazi ukikuja ngambo unakuja na student visa kwa upande wa india student visa uwezi convert kwa work permit ama work visa uwezi convert mm-hmm. as ingine, mm-hmm. watu wengine wa research kama mimi nilipokuja niliweza kufanya internship ambayo nilikuwa na research and training visa. So hiyo jina training it can say you can internship. Na pia nika build bridges na ku build friends so that I can be able to teach in my own university. But mm-hmm. most of the students they are not able actually kufanya kazi. Hapa kuna kufanya kazi unakuja kusoma. Na wengine wanajaribu kuuliza kwamba eh, ukipata degree ya India unaweza fanya kazi Kenya. Nasema kwamba the judiciary I mean judiciary na mambo malo ya Kenya wengi walisomea India. Wakati wa Moi wakati wa Kibaki na watu wengi walisomea India sana sana wengi na ile mambo ya kusema ati oh education iko nefek wengine wamenua degree oh hapana au oh, kwanza mm-hmm. iko vigorous hii sheria iko kali sana hapa sheria yao iko kali na wanajua mimi kama boy tunaishi kwa nyumba fulani address fulani police wanajua mwindi wanajua mm-hmm. wanakaanga ni kama wajui lakini wanajua kila kitu so mm-hmm. any foreigner in india serikali inajua 
na wanajua mahali unaka na wakati mm-hmm. tumemaliza kutoka huko hao wame simplify education system education system yetu watu wanasema na Kiingereza na hivi ndio hata wa Hindi wako wameniambia wananiambia kwamba okay ndio Kenya mna tushinda Kiingereza mnasema mko na Kiingereza lakini ningependa kuambia wa Kenya technical education is very important wakati unasoma hapana soma theory soma practical sisi tumelelewa kwa upande wa theory sana nimesoma theory sana lakini naweza nikada wale ambao wanafikiri wamanguka mtihani ukitaka kuja India kama unapata C+ utaweza kuja India before kama hujapata C+ uweze kuja so uweze ruhusiwa kuja kusoma huko hivi so mm-hmm. ukisoma ukisoma India most of the times atupati ile courses ya medical courses kama medicine MBBS na daktari na engineering mm-hmm. hiyo kitu mm-hmm. imekuwa ngumu kupata huko sana so wale watu wao wamesoma India saa zingine watu wanasema oh hawajui kitu yote lakini ukiangalia economy yetu inaraniwa na countries kama India wenyewe wanaendanga supermarket tangu tuzaliwe nimeenda hata nimeshonea nguo wakati nilikuwa form 1999 na kumbuka nguo mm-hmm. ilishonwa na mwingi wangu ya shule nilikuwa kitali supermarket nilikuwa mm-hmm. ndani ya Wahindi sasa wakati nimekuja huko ndo nimegundua kwamba okay tumesoma Kiingereza yote by at the end of the day kitu nyanua nikiangalia kwa nyumba saa kwa ukuta ajanta ajanta ni ajanta kesi nikienda kwa supermarket kutaka kununua kitu ni ya Wahindi sasa hizi oxygen ikisha Kenya oxygen iko ruiru kwa steel company ni ya Mwini So at the end of the day yafaa tujue ya kwamba wakati tunasoma Kenya try to mm. kukuja India ni kukuja kulana lot na uwezi kuja ukasomea Kiingereza watu wanafikiri unakuja hapa utafunzwa Kiingereza au Wahindi wajue Kiingereza hapana au mm. wana, wanafanya vitu yao na sheria yao na nchi yao na wanafanya na lugha yao kila state ina different language ukikuwa Maharashtra mm. state mali Mumbai iko uniliingia darasa wanafunza na Kimarati language Marathi ni kama Hindi inafunzwa na unakuta mwalimu anaongea 90% ya lugha yao wakati uko bado ule umetoka form 4 unakuja unasema oh hii ndio wajuu Kiingereza au wanafunza na lugha hata ni boring ah, hakuna kitu kama boring watu wameenda Russia walisoma na Russian watu walienda Korea walisoma Korean language before wasome na hiyo so wakati unaenda mm-hmm. nchi nyingine expect usi expect Kiingereza hiyo ndio kitu ninazoambia watu na kama unaweza pata opportunity ya kukuja India huwa na post scholarship sana sana lakini watu wako lazy kujaza form ya scholarship ni ngumu watu wataka kujaza watu mm-hmm. wa Kenya ni organize <laughs> Ndio jina organize mimi nilikuja India. Tabidi umewaja India na mamangu alinipa 100 peke yake kazini hapo kama. Mm. Yeah, so nikaambia watu hii organizea hapa na hakuna kitu kama kuorganizea. <laughs> Ukipewa uh, link ya scholarship. Ukua documents, weka PDF, ebu upload your documents, ebu jaza hiyo hiyo nini. Jaza upeleke kwa Ministry of Higher Education. Hiyo website ina scholarship nyingi. So tunasema ngo ulifikaje India ulipataje ulipata opportunity ni, ni rais kwenda. Sasa zingine na sema mimi nimeishi Cherangani nimetokuwa kwa kichaka nimekuwa msituni watu wanasema kuna mahasila lakini sisi wenyewe tunajua hizi ni ambao mm-hmm. tulikuwa tukienda shule unakula miwa sisi mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunasoma wakati koroboi ta that ita ilikuwa na mulika alafu na uoni hata kitabu na utafuta tienda shule unaenda bila kiatu inaitwa tamambo aha uh-huh. tamambo lia so i mm-hmm. encourage the kenyan students that uh, whenever you get opportunity to go abroad and go and study just try to fill the scholarship fill the forms don't expect uh, miracles to happen you have to work hard to go abroad mm-hmm. and when you go abroad respect the laws of that country respect the people of that country and try to learn not only in the classroom but from the street wasabu in india i've been learning a lot about the value system of the culture the value system of religion the value system of society the value system of the elders and if we respect our elders if we respect the system then we'll be able to make a country a better place for the next generation because we are just passengers of this world atutakuwa in the year 2100 wao sisi wote atutakuwa na country yetu tawachia tunawachia watu wengine wakuje watumie nchi yetu sasa inatakana saa hizi ukipata education tusifikirie biashara peke yake kwa sababu tunasema tunafikiria biashara alafu tuna na hiyo biashara yenyewe tunafanya tunasema tunataka investors mimi ni wale watu ambao wanasema mimi mambo ya investors niko so skeptical yani mambo ya investors investment ikiwa ni mtu anakuja kusaidia nchi sio mtu anakuja kutoa mahali rasilimali the resources from the country and that is what has been happening in africa that we have gone abroad wakati investor anakuja investor anakuja anachukua mawe west pokota ama uko anachukua mawe mlima mzima then they move mm-hmm cement unajenga nyumba kesho milima imeisha na watu wameunda pesa na wameenda umeachia hakuna kitu mtafanya so wakati unasoma soma kwa bid try to get the practical knowledge so that we can be able to build the country what we are doing now we are supposed to learn the way the indians do that whatever i'm doing now is not for me but it is for the generation coming behind me 
when we start to know that value system of the generation behind me, then we'll be able to help our country, Kenya. We must have any journalists. Journalists. Yeah. Yes. We need you in our uh, in the airwaves, man. That that is amazing. That's that's great. It's it's not only about sharing, but also very encouraging. I hope someone is watching. I hope these big uh, media houses. I wish I could employ you on AKL one. We need that content. We need that. <laughs> Let me yeah, allow I'm free, me I'm free to share knowledge. Allow me that to say that uh, whenever you need me, I'll be there. And what I learned from India is that. Uh, Whenever I have information, information is power that has propelled this country to where it is. Eco economy number six in the world. Eco number six, number seven. Up. Economy yetu, ni sawa na economy ya city na ito Mumbai. Wakati mtu na nembe India ni wa maskini nini? Maskini wako kila mali. Poor people are everywhere, but our umaskini yao siyo kama umaskini yetu. Umaskini yao watapata chakula. Umaskini yao watatravel. Umaskini yetu ni hata kama unapata elefamusini bado ni maskini. Umaskini yetu ni kwamba ya kwamba tu, hata tukikuwa Nairobi bado tuna tuna hustle. Hiyo kutafuta mali tuna usiku na mchana lakini hao wanaishi pamoja. So ningependa kusema ya kwamba whenever you have knowledge and I have the knowledge that I have I say I share freely. Whenever you need and you have an AKL if you will be having a radio station or a, in the future a TV station I'll be talking for free. I want to share knowledge so to encourage others so they can come out of poverty and come out of ignorance because what is there in Kenya? We talk about politicians so much that we hate them and they don't hate each other. Our siyasa wa chukiani wenye kwa nye. Wanakutana jioni, wanakunyo chai pamoja, wanakunyo kawa pamoja, wanachoma nyama pamoja. Sisi tunawarawana huko kutuna tunatusiana kwa social media na kesho tunawenda jioni unalala. Asubuta amuka, auna, auna chuchote. So inafaa tukujua kwamba for the next election we are supposed to choose leaders wisely. Apana choose kwa sababu ni kabila yako ama ni, ama ni mtu najua ama ni apana. We try as much as possible to see nani atajenga nchi. Nani atasaidia vijana. Na kama ni kusaidia vijana, mimi nasema ya kwamba kama kuna watu wanasaidia vijana waende wakasoma outside, then it is better. Na ukitumwa uki outside then you start we start developing our country and that is how this country has been developed. Wale walienda nje 1970s walirudi wakajenga nchi. Wale walienda nje Kenya 1960s, 1970s walirudi wakadominate nchi. So you the difference ya Kenya na yeah. As the saying goes, uh, kutembea ni kuona, kuona mengi. Allow me to read some comments and then we will come back as we finalize. Uh, kuna mtu wanaitu Nathan Kibla kata nasema malosa buwan, malosa buwan na eman we malosa buwan Nathan. Kogo Kibiego anasema kongoi mushimiwa uh, Moses Karina anasema watching from Doha, Qatar. Jamutai Sisitona anasema watching from County number 29 karen ya teacher nasema live from eldoret say hi to my friend joshua i am happy what and i said my logged in and the show is amazing keeps keep saying victor city and i watching live from kismayo somalia keter kembo and i said my life from nairobi ongata chapter we go yet watching live from nakuru county ronnie rono watching live from boston usa viola chela nata and i'm watching live from county number 047 nairobi dj keep sort my name good job my brother dj keep sort not talking about quit ukikua pia apa facebook ingia pale katika page na itua call quit ili weze kupata maneno mazuri kabisa vijana wanatembea uko wana wana explore wana kuonyesha wale watu wakona talanta kule nyumbani so ukikua facebook ingia pale after page night wa kokwe tama dj keep sort mwenye asante sana for following my brother kuna mtu pale pia anaitwa dash tasha na tama following the show is amazing life from eldoret nancy musa morning watching life from embakasi area hey, colin watching live from ug uh, moy ben area asante sana joshua korer watching from eldama ravine karen k uh, karen Karen Kare, and I said, Good morning, Mushimiwa, Sante Sana Masikigi, and I said, Watching from Mbakasi, Nairobi, David Wambura, watching from Tanzania, wow, Sante Sana, Gideon Karyuki, and I said, Watching from Siongiroi, Che Borge, Spare Parts, Lepche Borge, Spares, and Gimaga Spares, he was in Baje Borge, and Shongiroi. Paul Boga Koyach, please ask Paul. Uh, Paul Please ask Boit to uh, clarify something about COVID because today, the sh this morning, one of the media houses pronounced that India uh, COVID iko juu hata wameshindwa kupeana msaada. So I think Joshua, you mentioned that one, but you can still clarify for people who just got in the situation on COVID and, and, and what is happening. Petrus Mayo, 
watching from Nakuru, Asante sana. MC Joseph Amasi live from Kisumu, Asante sana. Osea, Osea, Osea Kiprono from uh, SA, Olimba, South Australia. And asema watching live. Gladys Chepkiri, and asema watching live. Sami Meli, watching live from Italy. Wow. Sami Meli, tell us what is the situation in Italy, Bana? I hope you guys are safe. So before we continue, we just ask you to share this show so that we might uh, be able to reach quite a number of people as we continue to hear uh, from uh, our guest today. So, Boy, would you want to just quickly share on the COVID thing and then we continue? Uh, yeah, the right? clarification about the COVID situation in India is that uh, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now India has around 17 million cases of coronavirus and 14 million mm -hmm. are discharged or called in Alafu wameokuwa 192,000. The situation ya kwamba hakuna oxygen eh, oxygen concentrators kutoka Singapore imekuja kutoka Germany imeanza kuja kutoka USA pia the oxygen concentrators. The oxygen ile ya, ya oxygen ya hewa ya air ina ileti kwa ndege lakini wanaleta ya liquid imechukuliwa kutoka kwa steel companies imeshiftiwa to the states inahitaji kama New Delhi na ile story ya kwamba malpa kuchomea watu haina nafasi tena wataanza kuchomea watu kwa speed watu wakikufa mm -hmm. in india hii nchi ni five times bigger than kenya so sometimes you know the media there's that exaggeration a little bit yes kuna watu mm -hmm. walikufa wengi alafu kulikuwa na hiyo picha ya kwamba watu wamechomewa mali moja alafu kulikuwa na aerial photo ya kwamba wameanza kuchoma watu kwa kapa kwa mali wanachomeanga mm -hmm. watu inakuanga labda mali mbili ama tatu so watu wakikuja kama watu 20 mara moja ama watu 50 and then the media, you know, wanna, wanna, wanna use the drone photograph when they send a drone in the sky and they take that shot. And you know, the shot was taken in a way that there was these people living in one side and the other side was the place where they were cremation. I love mm -hmm. that the amplification of the message has sent shockwaves around the world. And then the opinion of one of the people who was given a microphone, like Asema, Yakwamba people will be, they, they'll start cremating and burning people's bodies in the streets. It cannot happen like that. Even if you take the whole death count of India of COVID per day, 2,000, and you put in a single stadium, you can burn in a, in a football field. If 2,000 people, you arrange them, you can burn them, right? So mm -hmm. that one is not as much as being amplified, but the death is going to be higher than 2,000 per day. But in India, it's more than 2,000 per day. So the oxygen is going to be Watu wanapata oxygen saizi, watu wana masilinders, na mahospitali zingine zinapelekea oxygen kutoka kwa steel companies. Mm -hmm. And then oh, the other thing, about, the, yeah, took my, before, yeah, nikuwa nambia watu pia mbawa kwa nyumbani Kenya. A message to you people in Kenya, sometimes you have this issue of uh, akuna corona. Okay, ukikutana mutu na jua, unateremusha mask chini, unavaa mask, unafikisha mask kwa mapua, unavaa mask, and then, Nikikutana na we na kutateremusha mask na fikisha pa chini. Kidogo na fika mask na rulishu kwa mapua. Na kakaa kidogo na kuna kuna mapua ndani na shika shika mapua. Iyo shida, iyo shida, iyo shida mbao tuko na we, tafadhali sana, try to wear mask. I can say it from my experience. I trust where mm -hmm. the coronavirus came to reach my mother who died this month. Mm -hmm. I traced mm -hmm. to a friend who had gone from Nairobi to Kitale Walenda Mazishi plan. I love my uncle was there in that Mazishi. Lakini alipokuwa mm -hmm. huko, then that person aka walikuwa akiongea na piga story, alafu akateremusha mask. So when I was talking to that guy, akaniambia, eh hey, akaniambia unaendeleaje huko? Nikaambia nendelea mzuri lakini mama ako hospitali ako mgonjwa. Nini nilifanyika nikaambia COVID? Akaniambia hata mimi nilikuwa na COVID na nilikutana na uncle yako. Tena nikajua mahali ilitok. Akaniambia I'm sorry because nilitaremusha mask. Na mina ni kona COVID. So, ni metres immediately before my mother died, I traced where it came from. So, it was so simple. Menda shere, kwa sababu unakula, unaongea na mutu kanda shere, unatua mask, unateramusha. So, try to wear mask. Had the pandemic ishe, wear mask properly. Wear proper mask. Kwa na mask tafauti tafauti. Kwa na mask kikine N95. Enye na yoni ni ya mapua pa juu. Alafu, unafinyilia kwa mapua. Kabisa, ukivaa, unafinyilia kwa mapua. Una make sure ina, ina cover mapua. And then, e mambo ya umeenda inje kwa mashere, umokutana wasewa mtamu na choma nyama. Try to avoid, kama uneza kaa nyumbani ka. Kama uneza kaa Nairobi ka. Apana epa, you are running away from Nairobi, going to the villages where our mothers, our grandmothers are. You know, we are the youngsters who are spreading this COVID to the villages. So, unnecessarily don't go. I can say that until the end of the year, until we see the situation in Mepunguka, usiende. Na ukienda apana ingia kwa nyumba. Kama umeamua kuenda, kaa pale inje. 
enda singira mm. uache kuleta chakula hapo nje piga story hapo nje hii mambo yako wagiana tafadhali sana so that we can save our people that is what the message i can give because mm-hmm. the, the you know initially last year the uh, covid-19 was a public health emergency then it became an epidemic by april and may last year pandemic by june and then baada ya kupunguka sisi wenyewe tumeirudisha imekuwa health emergency kwa sababu leo unavaa mask kesho uvae ukiona police unavaa so we have to know and remember that the covid-19 is still a pandemic it's not an epidemic in our minds we have turned back the clock to make it an epidemic and health emergency it is a pandemic so let us take care mm-hmm. of ourselves and pray for it mm-hmm. yeah so um tukimalizia there is someone who said uh, Isa Kikwa anasema kazi nzuri boy ita na KL uh, good good to hear you tell our brothers and sisters to take initiatives to uh, to be proactive and in applying the scholarship opportunities are also available hakuna kujuana it's all about merit kuna mtu pia anaitwa watching you live from Nairobi some uh, Sakwahman then there is someone who has said uh, chapter up Nandi she, she is in Nandi she said good morning Alfred following the AKL discussion by professor Boit and it's really enlightening at um at Kechel, Africa we are organizing for a webinar on studying in Asia India China Japan and Korea through AKL can Boit kindly join us as a panelist it will be great looking forward to your response thank you i think so someone is requesting if you can join them on one of the webinars that they will be organizing in regards to uh, information about studying in india and other the asian countries so you you will come to tell us that and then there is someone called kayla saying the guy is articulative uh, precise and truthful watching life from path caroline my you uh, really learning practical this morning at langata nairobi god bless you our mentors asante sana cherop my um uh, my, my my michael cherop and i'm watching from uae siri moja kabla tumalize utuambia tu siri moja ya watu wa india what is it all about health mbona kila saa tunasikia mtu akitaka bone marrow transplant india akitaka kidney transplant india akitaka any kind of transplant or any major operation india what is it kuna value system na family system structure ya kwamba kama baba mm-hmm. alisoma medicine na akasoma mm-hmm. nasi akasoma medicine na akakuwa daktari ana mm-hmm. make sure ana groom watoto wake pia wafanye medicine na nasi so Kenya huko hivyo mtu mmoja ni engineer mwingine ana biashara duka mwingine anakuwa mwalimu so we are splitting na na ule amekuwa amekuwa daktari hataki kusaidia wenzake wa kuwa daktari na akipata pesa anataka kukuja kutembelea watu nyumbani let's say niko India ama niko USA ama niko wapi nikikuja nyumbani when i go back home you know i go and give people 1000 1000 1000 and then i don't resolve the the issues you resolve you mambo shida shida ni peleke shule u jamaa aenda akasome arudi akasaidia wengine tena kwa familia yake that is what mm-hmm. india has been doing wanaishi mm-hmm. kama familia na wanasaidiana education mm-hmm. ni very cheap in india najua education inaanza kuanzia as much as people being paid to go to school na inaenda mpaka hata 6 million per year sio si, pia kuna hiyo pia kuna maklasi za 6 million per year so school fees mm-hmm. inaanzia inaanzia from zero mpaka 6 million per year so mimi kufanya phd yangu in india ina cost around 60000 kenyan shillings si somesho na mtu wote na somesho na muinde fulani kidogo na nichana nichangia changia kidogo tuna hustle hustle unasema ile ku hustle na nilikuja nikalani ya kwamba you can study without having money mimi sikumaliza school fees nikiwa high school sikumaliza school fees nikiwa bachelor's but if you become a good citizen a good person in society a good somebody who unakuwa among top 10 and you try to teach others you know ways will open when i was in school class 8 nilikuwa index 1 wakati nilikuwa form 4 nilikuwa index 6 lakini nilikuja edmas akaniambia you are a good student and usipolipa fees hakuna haja na kupea documents zako wewe ndio utakuja kulipa after 20 years ina shida so wow. the value of family system in kenya kama wewe ni daktari kama wewe ni mwalimu kama umepata pesa jaribu kupeleka wengine shule na kama unaona wezi afford kwa pereka shule Kenya tafuta nchi ambayo kama India unaweza mleta na akasoma kuna watu kabila fulani sio sema tajio kabila wanaku, walikuwa nasomea India na wameenda USA na Canada wakati wa koko USA na Canada wanajua akituma 1000 dollars itasomesha mtu italipa fees kwa mwaka mzima italipa fees italipa rent for the whole year that is around 100000 so wanachukua wale makazini yao manini wao wameleta India wakuja wafanye pharmacy na nasi makabila zingine karibu 40 bado wamelala hawajajua hivyo watu wanaendelea kuongea ile ile mnaongea kwa social media india hakuna kitu india kuna umaskini 
you know there is that small window you see at india india iko mbali sana mbali na sisi narudia nasema ya kwamba the economy of mumbai city is more than the economy of kenya kama economy ya kenya ni 90 billion dollars ya mumbai ni almost 100 billion dollars na india is a 3 trillion dollars economy so wetuwezi kujikombea na india uwezi kujikombea na india hata kidogo ile umaskini unaona na wale media wale vijana wetu wamefanya bachelors wa media wanakuja wanachukua kamera wanakimbia the Ravi Slums in Mumbai wanapiga street watu wamesanyana kwa train watu wanaingia wengi sana hiyo inakuanga hiyo inasema anga in small window unaangalia inde lakini ukikuja hapo utagundua kwamba watu wana usiku na mchana na ningeomba serikali wale watu wanapata D wanapata E au watu sio wajinga Unaangalia sisi tukitumwa wasichana wetu waende upande wa Arabuni huko wameenda kufanya kazi za nyumbani ambao nawaombea sana na ningependa hata wangefanya kazi zingine ninge, kama ningekuwa na uwezo hao watu wangefunzwa mambo ya kushona art and craft vijana wa Indi na wasichana wa Indi wako Arabuni wako nurses na madoctors wako wanajenga uwanja World Cup ya Qatar 2022 wameenda huko sisi tumepeleka watu huko waende kufanya kazi hao watu ni wale walipata C walipata D mimi naheshimu mtu alipata E na mmoja alipata dina kwa heshima kwa society ya kwamba we will empower them so that those are the people who are building the country we forget alafu kwa tv unaangalia mtu amekuwa namba 1 tunaonesha ngoli mtu namba 1 nataka watu wa media wafuate fuate huyu mtu namba 1 wale top 10 wale namba 1 kwa country kwa hiyo miaka 20 imepita tuangalie wako hapi sasa hivi lakini ukiangalia hiyo pikipiki ni unaendesha inaitwa bajaji inatoka aoranga bad city yenye niko bajaji na jua raul bajaji ni sio mbali na mali niko ni almost 5 km kutoka mali niko hiyo pikipiki inaitwa tvs inatoka chennai in india hizo pikipiki tunaziendesha mamekanic na watu wanaunda hiyo pikipiki ni watu wa masi masi plus masi stand hao ndio wanaunda hawajui kiingereza lakini wanaunda sisi wenyewe tunajua kiingereza tunakaa nyuma so we need to know about what is happening around us and we need to encourage each other we need as a generation of which i'll be talking na ule jamaa amesema kama angependa naenda kwa webinar eh, uta inbox eh, alfred alafu i'm ready for any webinar any time any live uko live instagram live facebook i'll be ready to share knowledge because i will be here for a short time in in life and sharing knowledge is learning a lot from people that is how i learn from india brother you making me shed tears man umesema we concentrate too much on the first position and yet the the, the young guys and uh, fellows who failed are the better, the better part of it as well they are part of the society part of the community and we ought to embrace them and give them an opportunity as well well wow. yes someone actually last week after we shared the um the students actually here on my page akanidia maganiambia tutafutie pia na wale ambao wameanguka na sisi tu support and now you are giving me another challenge and i gave it to me because i you know now you're bringing it on and it's it's, it's something to to actually give a thought and we we ought to support everyone as we go back yeah hopefully within 3 months man- I'll try to go home and I'll try to meet those people who, who think they are failed in life. Mm-hmm. They think they are failed oh they think they are failed in life because they failed in exam. Failure mm-hmm. in exam is not a failure in life and India imejengwa na watu wa average. Wale watu ma brainy wa India walitumwa na serikali wametumwa unaangalia daktari ukipeleka kwa hospitali in South Africa daktari ni muindi. Ukienda South Australia daktari ni muindi. Ukienda ukienda Germany daktari ni muindi. Ma journalists wale big media organizations ni wa India. So we need to go out of africa we need to go out of our comfort zone so we are cut tafika nyumbani alfred ukifika nyumbani jaribu pia kuongelesha vijana yes i can see my battery is running low so uh, i want to appreciate everyone who has uh, my camera battery is running low i think i didn't charge it well uh, i'll try to to change the battery just a minute Men menwal hasanta sana for those who are following
Can you get me? Yeah, I'm getting 11 clear. Yeah, that's the problem when you are the producer and everything, DJ and uh, everything studio. <laughs> that what yeah. happens. And thank you so much for your patience as well. And also everyone who is following. Felix Kipchumba saying I'm from Elgeo Marakwet. I agree with boss. Uh, thanks for the very encouraging um, content that you are sharing. Sami Melia in Boit, Nimepata Maoni Yako Kabisa. Wow, logged in. This is amazing. Paul Gogo, thank you that uh, for the clarification. On and we, we need such moves. Can you bring this guy every every week? Uh make him a weekly guest. And I say I'm a uh Johnson Kotut. And I say I'm make this guy a weekly guest. Asante san. As you finish or as you finalize, what, what's your last take? My last take, kuna mtu wamesema ya kwamba ningependa ati niongeleshe government leaders. Actually, yeah, uh, I've been looking myself as a, somebody from a village. Na siku waita rajia nitakutana na ma president, nitakutana na prime ministers. I, mm -hmm. I've, I've been able to talk to them. So, ni maongea na president wa inchi ya Kenya, Uru Kenyata. Mm -hmm. Nimekutana pia na Raila Odinga nimeongea na yeye nimeongea na Prime Minister wa Sri Lanka pia nimekutana na yeye so our mm -hmm. leaders nimekutana nao the only thing now nitakana tuanze kujisemezana kuongea na tukipatana kwa social media ni kwa encourageana tuanze kuongea na tuanze kwenda live we need to make a community that will build our country because when we build our country for the future generation we need to encourage each other especially kwa upande wa masomo Na upanda wa vaksin, najua kuna watu wanaanza kujuliza, ni chukwe vaksin, ni weke vaksin ama nisifanya, ni, ni namna gani mamba vaksin. Nilikuwa skeptic wa vaksin. Najua vaksin, aitibu gonjwa na aizui mtu kupata corona. Lakini wanasema inazuia hospitalization. Mm -hmm. Kama unajua ya kwamba utatravel nchi ingine, unajua hii mamba vaksin passport imaanza, to, the way the trend is going, the way I see with my opinion, that itafika maali tutalazimisho kuna vaksin. Na lazima yake haita kuwa compulsory, haita kuwa tuwana kuambia, utaka kuenda chiplan, kama uja vaccinate uwe wezi yenda. Utaka kuenda kwa stadium kwa na pira UK, kama uja ukwa vaccinate uwe wezi So at the end of the day, ukipata na fasi ya kuvaccinate uwe, just be vaccinated. Alafu kuna vaccine mingi, watu wanasema kuna covaxin, covaxin ni vaccine ya India, imaanza kuroliwa out. Alafu kuna covid shield, AstraZeneca ya Oxford, inaito covid shield hapa India, na yu ndi walukona export, saizi ya wa export kwa sababu pia wa watu wao na itaji. A vaccination. Sputnik 5 ndiyo karibu wata authorize hapa hivi India pia. Na kuna ma vaccine zingine Johnson & Johnson vaccine, alafu kuna Pfizer na Moderna vaccine, ambayo ni expensive. Inajua temperature yake, intakana below zero. So, hiyo itazekana. Ndiyo mana AstraZeneca inezekwa kwa fridge na bado vaccine yetu. So, kupata na vaze vaccination, just go be vaccinated. That is what I can say. And then, try to limit visitors when you want to visit. Marafiki wakifika, let us try to leave kidogo bila kuwa na visitors wengi sana so that we can be able to help our family na our parents wanya wako old kwa sababu at the end of the day uneza survive kupata corona na survive na upone lakini muzazi aneza pariki na muzazi ya kipariki unajua na affect families to affect wale wa vijana na wastana wetu wadogo so let us try to avoid that and uh, let us be able when you are supposed to travel travel when only it is necessary yeah. mm -hmm. Wow. Someone and I to Mr. Akeka Tanasema, good stuff following life. And Jephtam Nande, while waking up to such a discussion is really refreshing. Pick up AKL. Thank you, Professor Boyd, for uh, failing exam isn't failing in life. Great content. Mau Karone, I'm following here uh, Ken, uh, from here in Kenya. Boyd is talking like one million was a combined. This guy is uh, is amazing. Dixon Quetch, very encouraging. Asante San. Boit, mimi ni mekua interested na ule mwalimu bwana alikuwa chilia certificate. Uyo mwalimu alikuwa ni mtu alimeona mbele. He was a visionary leader. Not only was he a good teacher, but a father. Is he still around? Because we, we got to gift him bwana. This content is amazing. Hange kupatia na fasi, na unge kuwa India. Na unge kuwa India, na tunge kupata. Is he, is he bad wako around? Yeah, naweza sema ya kwamba naweza na kazi ni yangu. My cousin actually brought me to India kwa sababu kuna watu wengine mko mnafanya kazi na mko na cousin. Help your cousin the way Indians do. They do not only help their brothers and sisters, they help their cousins. So my cousin brought me to India na nimshukuru sana. 
mwalimu wangu mm-hmm. alinipa certificate i stayed at home for six years after form 4 unajua kuna watu wengine wanafikiri oh nilipata opportunity nikakuja hapa hivi i stayed six years na nika avoid si kuwai lewa na sijawahi lewa maisha ni mwangu wengine wakaniambia huyo six years ulikuwa unafanya nini nilikuwa kwa shamba nilikuwa nasaidia uncle wangu hiyo mwalimu mm-hmm. aliniita akaniambia chukua certificate yako go wherever you can go and nikapata opportunity nikakuja india wakati nilikuja india pia wakati nilifanya bachelor's degree mwalimu wangu sasa mwalimu ule wa high school immaculate conception mkuu anaitwa alfred cherobel ni msaba wa tafikiri ameretire juzi ama ametoka juzi huyo mwalimu ndiye alinipa certificate nilipokuja india nikafanya bachelor's degree nilipomaliza degree pia nilikuwa sijalipa fees nilikuwa nimelipa tu fees more than half the head of department professor sudir gavane pia kwa ile nilikuwa nasaidia wanafunzi nasaidia kufunza wanafunzi nenda conferences workshops akaangalia mm-hmm. akaniambia can you do masters nikamwambia hata hey, sijamaliza kulipa pesa ya degree hata masters siwezi fanya nataka tu niambie kazi yangu nilipia ndege nirudi nyumbani hiyo mwalimu mm-hmm. alinita kwa ofisi akaniambia nimesamea nini yako yote akaniambia hebu akasign kila kitu enda uchukue degree yako nikachukua degree mm-hmm. akaniambia tafuta mtu ataku ataku sponsor nikatafuta mtu akanisponsor kidogo nilipia rent nikafanya nikafanya masters yangu kumaliza masters pia nikasema nataka niende nyumbani mama mwingine wa Rotary International akaniambia kwa nini unaenda nyumbani na India na chip can i find you a job nitalipwa kama 1800 ya Kenya nikasema sawa akanisaidia nikapata so degree yangu ilirelisiwa sikumaliza fees masters yangu ilirelisiwa sikumaliza fees form 4 yangu ilirelisiwa sikumaliza fees so ni mkono wa bwana the god is great because he wote after that yeah. now when i stayed back kufanya phd ndio nikapata nafasi ya embassy ndio nita nikaongea na wakati president alikuja nikarepresent wa Kenya nikakutana na president I gave a speech mm-hmm. in front of almost 5 minutes ministers for government of Kenya of which mm-hmm. most of them are still in the government mm-hmm. so I want to encourage people that idealism alu metoka your dream is valid and there is always I said a life is a big road that you travel but there is always that path that Mungu amekuwekea kuna wewe barabara ndogo yako kuna yako special so usiseme mm-hmm. atutakaa nyumbani 6 years I stayed home 6 years but I'm here in India mm-hmm. now so mm-hmm. kuna ile barabara yako ndogo Mungu amekundia so keep going we say, don't get discouraged when we come home we'll sit down and see what we can do for people this eh mambo ya kuwa carpenter kuwa welder hivi tu yote ndio kana ifanyike nyumbani ikifanyika we can be able to send people who will be building stadiums in qatar in world cups and arab countries they need people so mm-hmm. that is how it is yeah you got a journey my brother umesema mwalimu alikuwa anaitwa alfred it's something to do with alfred tunakwanga watu wazuri by the way let me see the comment from caroline say professor please if if uh, i have done diploma in medical field and want to pursue degree in medical in medicine in india is that possible what are the grades required the prescription kwenye na from kitale eh we in kenya see that nasema i am touch you Yes my dream is valid asante sana chap chumba kimutai alfred this is so good mr boyit and may god bless you as you continue to tell us the reality you should be also be interviewed in kenya for to for, to, for those who don't have access to facebook can listen to you testimony uh, can listen to your testimony kudos and thumbs up or say or say kibrona nasema we would like to invite you to uh, our show get an edit up kalanji next week you will give me an opportunity to host you that is a guy from uh, Adelaide who also has the similar uh, show is requesting if you can be his guest uh, and someone called Thomas Koech yeah, well wow, this guy has a wonderful and um, encouraging so w- when do you finish your phd actually i'll be finishing probably in the next 10 days i'll be finishing my thesis and i hope to submit soon atujui mambo andege kama andege itafunguliwa ama itafungwa airline itafungwa lakini i wanted to extend my visa for some time so that i can be able i want to finish it like kumaliza ku submit na ku defend because when i defend it now kama doctor so hiyo ndio kitu mm-hmm. naongoja lakini pandemic ime tu for the last one and a half years ime tu peleka style nyingine mpaka naomba Mungu kwamba nimalize ni submit alafu niondoke India so probably mm-hmm. in the next three months i'll be back home in Kenya but i'll be traveling around Kenya we'll keep social distancing i'll be meeting youngsters outside and i'll be talking mm-hmm. to them i'll be talking for, to them for free and i'll try to get others who can talk to them also yeah In na ule kuna mmoja aniuliza kuna mmoja aniuliza kwamba kama amefanya diploma anaweza fanya medicine in India. Medicine auta mm-hmm. auta admit you directly to medical courses utafanya nursing mm-hmm. kwanza alafu ndio uta upgrade kutoka nursing ndio utaenda. So I encourage mm-hmm. her that uh, she can apply but scholarship za nursing wapi yani. So mm-hmm. lakini nursing yenyewe si expensive kuna colleges najua yeah, I keep in touch yeah, inbox me or inbox Alfred then we'll see mm-hmm. the admissions ya India inaanza June July. 
Now, the pandemic may change the admissions, but I'll try to see because procedures are nursing ni a little bit longer process. Kwa sababu wana chunga, ndi wa kwamba wakuna manasas. Wengi kwa hii dunia, wana make sure atupati hizo ma, hiyo viti in the reason. Mm-hmm. So, watu mm-hmm. ndakana wajua nyumbani ya kwamba watu wana chunga pia nursing na engineering. Ndiyo mana wana 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 karibu kila kitu wapa hii dunia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, as we, fi- as we finalize, uh, I see we got about five minutes. Um, Unajua sisi wacha nisema hii kwa Kiswahili. Unajua sisi tukitokaanga nyumbani tunasemanga wacha tu release mtoto aenda ngamba afanye kazi ya kuwa anatuma pesa. What is your point? What is your word in regards? Nimeona India inakaa mtu unasoma na kurudi nyumbani kama kuna matumaini ya kupata kazi huko. Kiti ya kwanza hakuna matumaini ya kupata kazi India. India serikali haiwezi mm-hmm. kukupea kazi. <laughs> ata Mercedes Benz ata BMW wakikuja hapa hivi wanaambiwa mm-hmm. uwezi uza gari hapa unakuja kundi hapa ata Mercedes wana watu ambao na Mercedes huko Kenya kama hajatoka mm-hmm. Germany na South Africa ujue imeondiwa India mm-hmm. na waliambia uwezi uza gari hapa utakuja undi hapa na ukiuza gari hapa kama gari ni milioni mbili uta, uta, serikali itachapa milioni nne so utauza utanua gari na milioni sita kutoka India so wana mm-hmm. encourage made in India na hiyo ndakana tukua mm-hmm. na style pia made in Kenya So mm-hmm. ukikuja India unakuja kusoma unakuja kupata knowledge alafu kuna hiyo utatupima pesa kutoka nyumbani lakini nasema mm-hmm. maisha ya India ni cheap kuliko nyumbani ndio maana mm-hmm. wamepeleka watoto wao shule na imewasaidia kwamba wame reduce gharama ya vitu transportation madawa mm-hmm. vitu mingi vimereduce ni kama hii pulse oximeter hii pulse oximeter mamangu alipokuwa hospitali kwa huko eh, Kenya pulse oximeter walinua well, elfu sita. hii pulse oximeter nilinua wakati nilikuwa nataka kwenda nyumbani kuzika mamangu mzazi this month nikainunua nilinunua kwa pesa ya Kenya ni 1000 na Kenya ni 1600 nani aliunda hiki kitu ni wao ndio watoto wao wameambao wameenda shule ndio wameunda pulse oximeter so nyumbani tuwezi kuwa na pulse oximeter kwa harusi kwa mazishi watu wanakuja wana sanitize kidogo wana sanitize microphone na imeisha hapana so ndakana tukua na pulse oximeter temperature gun kwa harusi na kwa ma, kwa harusi na kwa ma funeral nyumbani hapo ndio corona size na move nyumbani sana na tungekuwa na gadget kama hivi tu be rahisi ndakana kila mtoto kila familia at least kuna kama hivi ipalso oximeter so wakati na travels zingine mtu akikuja hata mgeni unakuja unafinya hiki kitu alafu unaangalia temperature ya mtu unaangalia unaangalia pulse yake alafu unachukua temperature gani unaangalia temperature ya mtu hizo vitu hazifanyike kwa maharusi na kwa mazishi na ndio hapo hivi ndio nimeangalia na, na, na trace corona nyumbani huko hivyo ina move sana hata not trip sana mm. yeah. wow Wow, hey, my Nasama Robi Viola, best show ever. Hey, Isaac, always very, very, the, I wish you all the very best, Professor, I am encouraged. Kayla, this one is the best show I've ever watched in AKL. Please catch a point, the speaker today is resourceful all to all of us. Bongesi. Wow. Actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm really grateful. And this was just an impromptu. We, we didn't even uh, actually I, I spoke with I want to clear that I spoke with I saw a few videos going around and I thought uh, you know I had one person in mind and it was you and thank you so much. Within one hour you accepted to come in, you come be ready and and come to share. There were no pre uh, there were no questions, there were nothing. You just said you you're ready and one hour we were we were all live. Thank you so much Mr. Boyd for coming in and um, sharing quite uh, uh, insightful information today on AKL. We are grateful and we will look forward to hosting you again. We wish you the very best as you finalize your studies and uh, of course if you need our help you know tomorrow when you are going home kama unataka pocket money bwana sisi tuko hapa tutaku tutaku inua you know you've gone through a lot we've you've been through a lot and We've, uh, we've seen, um, you shared a post the other day saying that you've been away and, you know, the, quite a number of people back home have, have experienced it hard and it's, it's hard on you. So if you need any help, let us know. And I'm all also really grateful for you. For those people who don't know Boit, when uh, Corona kicked in last year, Boit managed to help more than uh, 20 athletes from Kenya who were stuck across the country at uh, the world. Somewhere in Mexico, somewhere in um, you can just share share that one for your for you for you and 
Yeah, last year, actually, when the pandemic came, uh, there were many Kenyan athletes who were stuck abroad. You know, the students were having rental houses, they could stay. Mm -hmm. But many mm -hmm. athletes, you know, they had gone and they got stuck. And sometimes the races were canceled and they could not go back home. So, King mm -hmm. athlete, and that is why I started a foundation, which is not registered. It's a virtual foundation. You know, mm -hmm. on a similar registered foundation, but I have ne never registered foundation because mm -hmm. an emergency. So it was a foundation that was an emergency foundation. And then mm -hmm. it was about communication, about coordination, about helping people. That's what I did. It was just communication and coordination. I was mm -hmm. able to help uh, Kenyan athletes, about nine of them. Now really pure pesa ndege na kali pure kenda nyumbani. Wana fry sana wako nyumbani walifika salama. Na pia kuna athletes pia walikuwa bikuwa stuck huko Malaysia na kuna ngini walikuwa Indonesia. And then mm -hmm. kuna ule athlete alikuwa Laos, Kenya alikuwa Laos. Uyo, uyo ya itulianza last year July mpaka juzi ndia mefika nyumbani. That was the year, nilikuwa ni mesema, karibu ni give up, lakini nikasema mpaka rafika nyumbani. Lakini yeah. I appreciate the Kenyan embassy in Thailand kwa sababu they helped me a lot, they accepted my coordination. You know, mimi ni raia bure. Lakini mm -hmm. ile communication nilikuwa naongea na hawa, and then I was linking them up with people in Laos, alafu International Office of Migration, IOM, na kwa na mstana ito beti wa Ethiopia, wakasaidio jamaa lipewa ndege, na alifika nyumbani Nairobi, na amefika mpaka kwa wa Eldoret. Na nasema, kama unaweza kusaidia mutu yote mahali kwa hii dunia, while you can, if you can help, 50 Kenyan shillings, 100 Kenyan shillings, ni enough. When my mother was in hospital, when I saw the bill was 300,000. Target yangu kwa 20,000 initially, but after all, but before atamazishi, bill ya hospitali kutawa kwa WhatsApp, mchango watu wala nchangia, bill ilipita. Tulimaliza bill ya mama makaziko, kwa sababu I have a brother, ambao ni alcoholic, na yasama wengine wengine mkwa addicted na alcohol. Tafadali ni jaribu kukunguza alcohol so that you can help your parents. So I had nobody to help me. My cousins did that half of it. And then my friends caught up and said, yes, Anna. And that is why I say Boyd Foundation always. It is virtual. It is not registered. It is at the spur of the moment. Help somebody whom you can help. You just to assess the situation, assess kama mtu anitaji help, and then you assist. Do good and go. Tenda wema, nenda zaku. Wow. Kegile inguti tap kalenji nki amne na magitu chpik jo keng petu tabrani ko wage nyoru tot na tonega ko ko ne chinga lecture ka rora ni nga lecture tok chiga ge ba e porwe cho ko nga lecture tok chiga ge mo chki net ke ago e petu tak eh no ni tok eng e ke el na na ko petu tak ko somaga si ge nyoru tot ake si ge mo chki e bua ge mo wo ge le no no tok ko ki mo kwak petu de mie ago hing tot nyo ko ngo mi singe petu no ta nga lecture tok chi ge ndi ge mo e I think you deserve a standing ovation, my brother. This one. <laughs> I respect you, Bwana. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Charik. You are the, you are, you are the title professor is now what? That's a very good one. Kula Vitabu. Asante, Sane. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Go on, boy. Yeah.